I forgot all about this area. I remember this one because it's dangerous to get in the randomizer. High level enemies and whatnot. Uh huh. Yo, yeah, you're definitely guaranteed to level up here. Uh, let's see. What items do you have? Because you could kill them all in one turn with an item. You're right, Spar, I could. I wonder if the theater's insurance covers shooting stars. Hmm. <laughs> like some just like scour and take out the audience. Like you know, they they have no insurance policy, but damn if these shows don't you know pop off. I actually got my last level up on the last enemy before going into the boss door. Wow. Very good side as well, as per usual. Yep, even though there's a heart block, which would refill everything anyway. Although, heart blocks don't refill star power, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, there we go. Aha! I promise we're not throwing you into the water this time, Bobbery. Yes, please. I still have nightmares about that, Mario. <laughs> This is the make use of all of your party members section. Except n not flurry. Yes. What a shame. Oh, sorry, I couldn't judge where that was in space for a second, though. Yeah, depth perception and all that. Hey. Do you want another Ultra Shroom? Yeah, I do. Everyone knows how good I am at uh, <laughs> 2D platforming. Yeah, especially with a weird camera perspective like this. You can make both of those jumps in one go. I second-guessed myself. Thanks, Bar. <laughs> I second-guessed myself and I, like, stopped short and then went forward anyway, so I fell. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know the feeling. These are infuriatingly slow now. It's fine the first time, and when you have to do it again after falling. It's just like, God, why? <laughs> you jostle and you chortle at me and my failures. Only because I made the same failures. Oh, because you used that shooting star, you actually have space for it. You don't have to toss anything this time. Yeah. Okay, so what's going on over here, then? Oh my god, this is a big room. Mm hmm. And there's more stuff over here. I actually landed on the platform to the left that the security key is on, and I saw the enemy down here and I threw Bobbery at him from up above <laughs> to do the first strike. <laughs> We're really packing the seats now, Spo. Is there another stage to the stage? That was a weird sentence. Is there another level to the stage upgrades that we can get? I don't remember. Not entirely sure. Do we need that? Yes. Yeah, you have to travel across the uh, upper platforms in the background. Right, okay. Seems like I'm always jumping in 2D. Of 
Climbing on gears also makes me think of a hat in time. Mm, makes me think of Sonic, but I get it. That's another delectable ultra shroom, I see. Fuck. Fortunately, you don't have to go all the way down. Yeah, thank God. You do have to wait for the platforms to line up again, which doesn't take that long. And that pipe is also the one we need to go into. It's almost like they're primers for some sorts of battles. That's so many Ultra Shrooms. It's actually kind of silly. I would throw out the the, uh, the ice one. Sure. Yeah. It's kind of the worst thing in your list right now. We need to get the security card, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because that means you have to climb on the platforms in the back again. Oh well. Now you need to land on one of those moving platforms. Oh good. Oh. A little bit bad. Understandable. God damn it. There you go. Oh, interesting. Why couldn't those have been there to start with? Because they were hidden, Spa, clearly. Swap to Goombella, by the way. Oh, I will. I will. This is it, Luigi. Luigi's not here. It's the star security key because it's the room guarding the crystal star. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh man, have I been waiting. And I hate waiting. Yeah, we also hate waiting. Why did you put that room there? Because I hate waiting. I'll tell you what it means. I used the crystal star to lure you here. So that I could take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? I want to know the best part. Your little princess isn't even here anymore. You guys should have done this like four chapters ago. Where do you take her, you huge weasel? First of all, rude. Second of all, buh, 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 buh. like I told you the plan. That's novice villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really, guys. So, ready for showtime? You guys are going to be the perfect workout for Magnus von Grapple 2.0. Has a two on it. Imagine if it just landed on him, though. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're up to the challenge, because this thing is raw horsepower, kiddies. This fight is... Uh really annoying to get in the randomizer because as soon as you enter the room the fight starts <laughs> last version was buggy so we made improvements get ready for a whole new way to experience pain you judo varsity losers oh please as if we're not going to totally whip you for like the tenth time in the most embarrassing fashion as well if you get the combo off right yeah. all right let us begin Either clock out or stopwatch, or power lift first works too. Oh, that's a lot of orange ones. Alright, that's pretty good. Not too shabby. And now we follow that up with uh, Rally Wink. Yep, Rally Wink to give Mario another turn, or you could just use the stopwatch. 
if you wanted to try that. Because there is a chance it fails, but I think it's worth attempting. Okay. And I don't know if there's any difference between using a stopwatch and using the clock out power. Nope, unfortunately it failed this time. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Drill Attack! The good news is you have four defense. I did nothing! Rocks. Rude. You'd think the entire audience would be x knots at this point, though. Power bounce. Yeah. Not bad. Multi ball. Or rally wink, either one. Time to release some of the sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Oh, you silly, silly tosser. Again! Yeah, that's a frame window, ain't no joke. I think it's like seven frames for that one, but that's still not a lot. And the spot that you jump on him is really weird. Oh, he's sucking. He is sucking. He's sucking up the audience and he's going to throw them at you. This is his most dangerous attack. <laughs> Eat this. <laughs> okay, that was beautiful. It sure was, bro. <laughs> Let's just focus on raw power this time. Ah, oh, what the hell? If I'm here, you kind of just got to do whatever it gives you. just gave you so many blue ones at the end. <laughs> Please stop doing this. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, he's going to do it again. <sighs> Come on, dude. Didn't work the last time. Why do you think it would work this time? Well, you have one less defense. Oh, no, his dick. <laughs> wow. So that's what that feels like. Oh, <laughs> hack. No, how? What? My street powered up robot is on the ropes. This is wrong. I think her, her regular head bonk would have done just fine, but this is better for the disrespect. Boing. Say Nort confirmed. Blog. Stopwatch aside, nicely done. We are so strong, Goombella. We could take on the world. I think it's better to actually show off the boss fight than to just make him not even get a turn, actually. <laughs> Grodas! Blah, blasted off again. He's spinning, though. Ah, oh, there it is. Well, that was oddly convenient. It's a really good thing he didn't have that in his pocket or something. <laughs> yeah. You got a crystal star. And this one is actually the crystal star. That's the name of it. Why you couldn't call it the rainbow star? 
just, just so things weren't confusing? I don't know. Because rainbow is not a precious stone. <sighs> Fine. Gold's a metal, I'm just saying. The last crystal star had been hidden in the x naught hideout on the moon! But by the time I recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grodus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where would they lead him next? Kind of obvious, but... No Peach interlude this time. Well, we're here. Now, where's this stupid partially sanctum? The crystal star's there, right? So they say your putridness, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Ah, right, so it is. Great, about time something worked out for old Bowser. Here we go. You could speak with the NPCs around as well. I will. Hello, small child. Wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? Koopa Koop. <laughs> Businessman of legend. <laughs> I'm Bowser, businessman of legend. Fair my accounting. Oh, businessman like business trips, bribes, and brown noses. Oh my! Wow, tough lifer. So, Mister, are you in charge of the coffee maker or what? <laughs> if you say evil king extraordinaire, he runs away. Ah, you're great and evil king, really. Oh, look, my heart trembles. The fountain so elegant. This is art at its finest. So very observant as usual, my dear gold bomb indeed. Surely this is an artist's art. Yes, dearest, one cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes it art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Says the rich person. Yeah, but he's the good rich guy. Whoa. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scared me, seriously. Back sprite. Back sprite. They won't budge! Darn it! Yo, tantrums get you everything. <laughs> Whoa, baby! It opened! Talk about lucky, I guess rage really pays. There it is! Ah, oh, I should probably cover up that pipe on the left, considering where it goes. And there's nothing in there now. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> At last I've got my mitts on a crystal star, yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser, you're the absolute best star-getting guy! Hello, it's me. You there! I have you now, villains, you are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. Actually, we're the Phantom Thieves. Take your crystal star. What are you implying? I'm no little thief, I'm the Shadow Thief. Yeah. <laughs> Bowser, the Shadow Thief, not a thief, the best thief. I'll be taking this, thanks. What? The Shadow Thief? I knew this had the scent of no mere burglary, ha! You've been hornswoggled, Shadow Thief. That is a red herring, a fake. What? But look at that fancy display, the pedestal and everything, it's so posh! Bowser doesn't have a good time in this game. No, he doesn't. If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. You've got to be kidding me! You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Oh, those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time! How bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world can Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser! How to say Ah, Paragoomba! What are you so worked up over, hmm? Tell me! Now reporting, sir, and uh, ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the Thousand Year Door. A what? The Thousand Year Door? Why the heck is that? It's so funny that they know absolutely nothing about what's going on. <laughs> 
Then I'm going there too, immediately. Princess Peach and the legendary treasure will be mine. Cammy, we're leaving now. Now I've got to find another fake? <laughs> Wherever you are, Luigi, may you continue to triumph. Yeah, obviously there's no Peach interlude because she's a bit indisposed at the moment. Indeed. We finally got all seven crystal stars. Awesome! Now we can open the thousand-year door. We still don't know where Peach is. Oh well, let's head back to Rogueport, right? Professor Franklin can maybe help us find Princess Peach. Oh yeah. Well, there's something else to do in the base first. Ah. Bottom floor? Yep, the door to text room is now open. Where was that uh, warp thing? Was it on two? I believe it was on two, or yeah. I think they might even tell you where it was in this cutscene. Where are we? He lives! You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something that is why I brought you to this place. Princess P Peach. Oh. Oh, he's not doing so good. I am so sorry. Most of my data was erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup with only cached memory, trying to stay operational. This... this thing got me to tear up a little when I played through it. Please save Peach. Please. She is with Grodus, heading to the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. Peach is in the Palace of Shadow? But, backup, power, failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Sub-level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. But it wasn't locked. Shoot. I, I guess the room locks when you finish the boss fight so that you have to come here. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. But what happened to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer. Just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please. Throughout the game, Tech has become more than just a machine, obviously. Thank you for me. We understand, Tech. So, hurry to the teleporter room on sub-level 2 now. Mario, save her. <sighs> we have to save Peach for poor Tech, too. This is personal now. What, what, wasn't it personal before with Peach? Now it's extra personal. Personal 2.0. Glad there's enough power for the elevator. True that. The lighting becomes very ominous in this part. It does. And I don't remember the music changing in the original. Feel free to let, let us know in the comments if it did change before, but very somber music now.
There we go. Guess it's gonna be a one way trip for now. That sucks. Peach. Goodbye. Did the base explode? The whole base exploded, yep. That's interesting, concerning certain story tidbits. Uh, am I totally losing it, or did I hear something a moment ago? Hmm. No, you're insane. Mario, you know I hate it when you gaslight. What if it isn't Mario? What if it isn't Frankly? Over here, son. You brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? Uh -huh. What? I'm talking to my god here, the Exnot Fortress was on the moon? Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Sadly, no. Well, she was, but the Exnot boss took her and headed for the Thousand Year Door. Ah! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the Thousand Year Door TM. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape pass through to the other side with Peach. What? No way! Without all seven crystal stars, the doorway shouldn't open, though. We did hear the seal was weakening. Hmm. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Now, if we do go to the Thousand Year Door now, it actually opens the door to the final dungeon. So I think what you said we want to do is actually wait. And we'll do that at the start of next session. And I didn't know this guy sold this stuff down here. But there's still a couple more things we can do. Uh, we've got to go find Luigi for the next part of his story. Indeed. And we've got some Shine Sprites that we can trade in and some Star Pieces if you've got enough of those. Oh hey, it's Ghost T. I didn't even realize he could send an email. Well, he's possessing the conductor in order to send it, which is probably not great. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. RDM final issue. Zesty delivered a left hook to the jaw of Gadabout Flavio. Eh, deserved. <laughs> Cooking for rookies. Uh, spicy soup, drop in a snow body. Uh, becomes a couple's cake. I got one of those for uh, helping a Goomba. You found us! Time to cover some secret corners. Chuck Quizmo. Ah, oh, that's the dude from the first game. Secret cooking corner. Very good. Oh yeah, so we have to read the next thing of uh, episode Luigi. Yep. <laughs> now obviously the base on the moon is gone, so the warp pipe that we end up unlocking leads to far outpost. Of course, yeah. I think you can take the cannon back to the moon if you want to just run around the moon. But, but the base itself is gone. It's essentially a graveyard right now. Uh, Luigi is in the top level of the inn, if you want to find him. <laughs> the fan favorite. I'll be the judge of that. We're going to cook up the Ultra Shrooms with Jam and Jellies. Just a couple, then I'll store the others. Gotta save some stuff for the Super Bosses. Yeah, Jelly Ultra. Honestly, as good as the Maple Supers are, they're kind of not too good anymore.
because 10 and 10 is pretty good, but it's like, at this point in the game, it's not quite enough. Thank you. One of these days, we're going to have to have words. We did step on her contact lens. Yeah, that was like years ago, though. It's the moon freaking out or what? Yeah, that, that probably would freak people out, come to think of it. <laughs> oh, hey. It's you again. Hey, you, remember me? It's me, Bluey. Man, that last battle was hairy. You have no idea. I was burnt to a crisp, but I was actually kind of relieved, if you can believe that. But if you want the whole story, you should have asked Luigi here. Sounds like Bluey actually had a decent time. Oh, I'm done questing for now. Yep, I scaled Hate Song Tower the other day and rescued the fair Princess of Claire. That's one adventure I'm never going to forget. Nope, it was just too exciting. It was just astonishing, bro. Okay, let's see your version of events. Hate Song Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the northernmost sea. The winds whistle down the cliff, howling like banshees singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. I guess that's why it's called Hate Song Tower. I was terrified, but thoughts of Princess Atlaire warmed my heart and gave me power. All of my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. The door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out Princess Atlaire's name, but I couldn't even breathe because... As I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all. The Chestnut King himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling. Puddles of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I dodged the King's fangs, jumped onto his chest and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split the air and crashed dead center onto the Chestnut King's skull. Hope powered me up, bro. I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king, and I was loving it. This is it, I thought. This is it, Luigi. I can win this. I'll risk it all on my next blow. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for my moment. The tension stung me. Schwack! The ocean winds raged against the tower windows. With that sound was my call to battle, and I advanced with no mercy in my heart. And then... And then... Yes... Stop milking it. I beat him. I defeated the Chestnut King. An even worse beast came next, a nightmare thing, but I beat it too. I rescued Princess Atlaire. It was all over. And then I came back to Rogueport and had a light lunch, and that's about it. Uh, so you didn't woo Princess Eclaire? Huh? You think there's more to the story than that? Not at all. That's it. That's the whole story of the quest for Princess Eclaire. The end. But my adventures won't end there, bro. They'll never end. There's definitely a lot he's not telling us. I'm watching you, bro. Well, let's see what the book has to say then. Indeedy so. Super Luigi 4. The Shards of Truth. Foot sore and weary, Luigi finally found the rapturous ruins beyond Grimble Forest. Within the time and space were lost in nothingness. Within the pale emptiness, Luigi found a young sleeping boy. Our hero called out gently, and the youth woke from his long, long slumber. My name is Cranberry, and I've waited for you for the last thousand years. The boy went on to tell Luigi the secret truths of an ancient land. He said that the marvelous compass had been created by the ancient Luff people, who used its powers of foretelling to rule the world. But the Luff Empire was then cursed by the compass and fell into ruin. The survivors dismantled the compass and hid its pieces. Cranberry was the last of his ancient race. His role was to wait until one with a noble heart came to take the burden of the future. None but Luigi could have shouldered this weight. The boy gave him the compass piece and said, Fear the curse, but find your eclair. Luigi accepted the part. The boy's words burn into his brain. His duty fulfilled, the boy began to fade into the blank nothingness. As he faded from sight, a look of joy lit Cranberry's face. As Luigi gaped, both boy and ruins vanished, leaving our hero in a dark wood. With six of the parts united, the compass was now pointing to the final part, to the quest's end to Hate Song Tower. And then her voice spoke. Princess Eclair's voice begged for help from the void, pleading for a hero. 
Luigi's heart burst aflame. To be continued? Uh, I guess we'll get the last part after we finish the final chapter. In the post-game, yes, but uh, for now. Join us next time when we finally open the Thousand Year Door trademark and journey into the Palace of Shadow to stop Grodus once and for all and to rescue the fair Princess Peach. See you then. <laughs>